form 3 second term chapter 16 the oscilloscope page numbers from 144 to 148 at the end of this lesson students will be able to know about followings the cathode ray oscilloscope interpreting information from the cathode ray oscilloscope pitch of a sound and loudness of a sound do you know how we sound generated sound is generated when materials or objects vibrate through a medium in this slide you can see when the drum is beaten a sound is generated many animals have the capability of producing sounds by vibrating organs in their bodies. A bee makes sound by making its wings to and fro repeatedly very fast. The sound is transmitted as sound waves in all directions. We hear those sounds when the sound waves reach our ears. The sound waves can be observed using a cathode ray oscilloscope. The cathode ray oscilloscope is normally connected to a microphone. When the sound waves reach the microphone, the sound energy will be converted to electrical energy. The electrical signals will be generated as the output. These electrical signals will be channeled into the cathode ray oscilloscope. It will display the electrical signals received on the display screen in the form of waves. As an example, by clapping a sound can be generated in front of the microphone. Then microphone can change the sound energy into electrical energy. The oscilloscope screen displays the graph corresponding to the sound wave generated. Can we hear all the sounds in our surroundings? No, we cannot hear all the sounds. So how do we investigate our range of hearing? Using an experiment, we can find out hearing range of human ear. In this slide, you can see another instrument which is known as signal generator. It can be produced signals or sounds. When we connect the loudspeaker to the signal generator, we can hear sounds. When microphone is brought closer to the loudspeaker, waves can be observed on the screen of the cathode ray oscilloscope. When we start increasing the number from lower frequency at about 20 hertz, we can hear the sounds. If we increase the frequency further, we can hear more louder sounds until 20,000 hertz. Again, when we increase the frequency beyond 20,000, we will not be able to hear any sound. The frequency range of human ear is from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Sounds of frequency below 20 hertz and above 20,000 hertz we cannot hear. But some other animals can hear those sounds. Actually, what do we see on the display screen of cathode ray oscilloscope? When the cathode ray oscilloscope picks up sound waves, we will see waves being generated on the display screen. Before we make the use of information displayed on the screen of cathode ray oscilloscope, we should have an idea about few concepts about waves. 
in this slide you can see a wave what is crest and trough crest is the highest point of a wave trough is the lowest point of a wave what do you mean by frequency of a sound the number of complete waves produced per second the unit of frequency is hertz can you identify a complete wave you know the periodic movement of particles at regular intervals produce sound waves as an example you can consider first picture at time zero the displacement of the particle is zero with time the displacement of the particle increases and it takes a maximum positive value after that the displacement of the particle starts to decrease it becomes zero and the increases in the negative direction it takes a maximum negative value and then it becomes zero again this type of motion of the particle is called one complete wave can you identify how many complete waves are there in the second picture there are three complete waves the wave length of a wave is the length of one complete wave the distance between two consecutive trough or crest is equal to the wavelength amplitude of a wave the maximum displacement shown by the particles taking part in the wave motion is known as the amplitude of the wave height of the crest or the depth of the trough from the central position of the sound wave is the amplitude of a wave now we will study about characteristics of sounds we can hear different types of sounds in our surrounding the sound is emitted by the piano is soft the sound of thunder is very loud so characteristics are the properties of sound that makes it possible to distinguish different sounds in this lesson you will be able to learn about pitch and loudness as characteristics of sounds pitch of a sound how high or low a sound is or a musical note is known as the pitch of a sound the pitch of a sound is related to frequency you know frequency is the number of complete waves produced per second a bass drum thunder and a man's deep voice are examples for low pitch sounds whistle the voice of woman school bell are some examples for high pitch sounds the frequency of the sound waves is higher for high pitch sound it means greater number of complete waves are produced within one second but wave length is shorter in high pitch sounds the frequency of the sound waves is lower for low pitch sound and wave length is longer than high pitch sound when we observe high pitch and low pitch sounds by using the cathode ray oscilloscope waves can be seen as shown in this slide sounds can be loud or soft it is related to the amplitude of a wave the amplitude of a loud sound is higher than the amplitude of a soft sound you know 
the amplitude of a wave is the height of the crest or the depth of the trough in a sound wave. Now we came to the end of this lesson. I think you have understood about followings. The importance of cathode ray oscilloscope. How to investigate our range of hearing. The characteristics of complete wave. Pitch of a sound and loudness of a sound. Now you can try to answer for the following questions and recall your memory. What is the use of cathode ray oscilloscope? You have to explain how to investigate our range of hearing. What is the hearing range of human ear? What do we see on the display screen of the cathode ray oscilloscope? What are the characteristics of a complete wave? What do you mean by frequency of a sound? What is mean by pitch of a sound? What is the difference between high pitch and low pitch sound? What do you mean by loudness of a sound? And what is the amplitude of a wave? Thank you.